Coach Jim Grunlow, the head coach of Sacred Heart Shamrocks. Coach, what is your what was your favorite thing to do this summer? Well, uh, my favorite thing to do in the summertime is to uh, spend time out at the lake. We uh, we go out there every Saturday and Sunday and have a great time. You are entering your third year as head coach. What do you enjoy so much about the coaching job? Uh, I enjoy the uh, coaching. I enjoy the practices. Um, Sacred, Sacred Heart and um, Junior High Baseball gives you a chance to work with the kids more in practice uh, prior to game time. So I really enjoy teaching the kids um, special um, drills and, and going through and watching them learn. Tell me about your team. What do you have for the expectations for this season? Uh, this year we're a young team. Uh, we have four returning uh, starters and uh, three returning pitchers. Uh, my goal for the team this year is to win every out. Uh, win every at bat and win every inning. Uh, minimize our mistakes and not uh, and capitalize on other people's mistakes. Coming into preseason, the limited amount of practice that you've had, who are some of the players that have stuck out to you the most? Um, I think it's uh, some of the eighth graders that have stuck out the most. Uh, Freddie Jansen, um, how he's grown. Um, he's been a starter for me for two years. Nash Wernzing, um, his. Uh, his growth has been phenomenal. Um, he's grown into a really good uh, starting pitcher. And, uh, and then Owen Schutte has uh, really uh, cemented himself in center field. So really looking forward to watching those guys play this year. Freddie Jansen, what was the favorite thing you did this summer? My favorite thing I've done is probably just playing baseball with my travel team and getting to pitch. I, I've been told that you're one of the best first basemen we have in the area. How much pride do you take in that? I take a lot of pride. I just try to keep working so I can stay in the best in the area. You've been a starter since you were in sixth grade. Um, what are some of the expectations from you, but also what have you learned since then? I want to pitch really good and hopefully hit over 400, 500. As one of the leaders on this team for an eighth grader, what can this team do as far as expectations? I think we can do pretty good, even though we have a lot of young kids. I think we can get past regionals and maybe sectionals and maybe go to state. What is your favorite thing about baseball? Favorite thing about baseball is getting to be on the mound and control the tempo of the game and get to be with your teammates. What's it like playing for Coach Grunwald? It's really fun. He really pushes you. And me personally, he helps me hit a lot better. Nash, if you wouldn't have been playing baseball, what would you be doing instead? Um, I'd probably be either doing like tennis or golf to focus on sports because my whole family's been into athletes their whole life. What have you improved on the most in the past year? Uh, that's probably going to be like hitting or pitching with my off speed and stuff since I'm mostly just throwing fastballs the whole time. You're one of the number one eighth graders on this team. What have you worked on this off season to become a better player? I've worked on like hustling, giving more effort on everything, trying harder for everything I do so I can hopefully have the old guys look up to older guys. You as a vocal leader, what can young kids learn from you as a teammate? Um, they can learn to like use their voices like playing sports because it's not just like by themselves and you also have to use teamwork to get around. It can't, you just can't you be by yourself to do it. What is it like playing for Coach Grummo? I think it's nice honestly to have someone I've known since the whole junior high season especially with the off season talking to them sometimes. I think it's great. Come on Joey. Owen, what is your favorite food to eat? Steak. Owen, you've been a starter since you were in sixth grade. And a couple years ago, you guys go to state. Since then, what have you learned? I learned to work hard and get my position, be a role model to these other kids, and just to succeed in baseball. What's it mean to you to have your dad, Luke Schutte, as the assistant coach in your final year as a junior high player? It means a lot to me. He's been coaching me for about like seven years, so it's it's been really cool to have him this long. Luke, your son Owen is in eighth grade. 
Um, what are some of the emotions going through your mind knowing this is your last year of coaching him? Uh, some of the emotions going through, um, I just can't believe it. Me as a parent that I got a kid in eighth grade and next year he'll be off to high school. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's my last year coaching him. I don't know who said that, but um, we'll just have to wait and see how this year goes for an answer on that. But um, but no, it's cool. Um, I think it's cool to see his progression, how he's you know where he's came from. It all started out at T ball and small fry Corey League, and now we're here to this. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, it's awesome that I get to be a part of it every single day. Um, kind of watch the growth, you know, two years ago, starting junior high ball. He ain't anywhere where he is now. Um, so the growth has kind of been my favorite part about it. I'm watching him have fun doing it. Owen, you're one of the eighth graders, but also what are some of the things for the expectations for this team? Um, obviously, the goal is to get to state and work hard in practice, show everything you got, and for me, same thing, just work hard and give effort. I mean, that's what we preach. What's it like to play for Coach Grummo? It's awesome. I mean, he's a hard-nosed coach, but he knows what he's doing. And I think everyone should learn that he's a great coach. Matt Hayes, assistant coach. Matt, what do you bring to the table as your first year as assistant for Sacred Heart, but also what excites you the most for this season? Uh, I'd say what excites me the most is just uh, these guys and the culture that Jim and Luke have built over the last couple of years and just stepping in to help them. I uh, feel like that uh, I had a lot of personal experience playing baseball over the years and uh, they just asked if I could help coach and come in and try and teach these guys a few tricks that uh, maybe I learned over my years. When you're asked to be the assistant coach, what goes through your mind? Oh, I was excited, first of all. Uh, we got a bunch of good young, young guys on this team, so I like working with kids this age and uh, just feel like you can teach them a lot. You know, they're kind of like a sponge. They got a lot to learn, a lot to absorb, so I just feel like uh, I can teach them that and hopefully they, you know, listen and learn. So you, Coach Grunlow, Matt Hayes, the trio of you guys, what can this group of on staff do to help the boys and mold them this year? Um, I think it's a good trio. Uh, we all kind of bring something different. Uh, with Coach Grunlow, we all know how he is. He's fiery, uh, kind of like me. I got a little bit of fire. I think we're all fiery, but it's all different levels. Um, he's very, or Coach Grono is very uh, detail oriented. Uh, so he's, you know, he's real big on stretching, real big on fundamentals, you know, throwing the ball the right way, doing a drill the right way. Matt Hayes, man, I mean, it's just his pedigree, um, you know, where he comes from, what he did as a high school baseball player, college baseball player. He's been a great football or baseball player his whole life. So, um, having his knowledge come on the staff, instruct these boys what they need to do, uh, it's it's huge. Um, anytime you can bring somebody like that on your staff, um, you know, Grono was a great baseball player as well in college and high school. So anytime you can get a couple big brains like that together, it's huge. They see things at, at different, uh, different speed, see things that I'm not seeing. Um, so it's awesome. And then me, you know, I, I just, I'm out here having fun and, enjoying every single minute of it and uh it's gonna be fun man i can't wait <laughs>